ambulance, hospital. My dad used to work for a hospital, children's hospital. He was an orthopedic technician, meaning he fixed bones and set casts and shit, in addition to his paramedic lifestyle and uh, fire fireman. Fire fireman? No, just a regular fireman. I decided I'm going to be honest, people. My friends, you. I'm going to just talk to you, okay? Because I'm thinking about it. I'd be like, hey, guys. But it's like, no, it's just you sitting there watching it, unless you're sitting there with your friend. But even then, I can say you, and you and your friend will both think I'm talking to you. So I'm just going to say you from now on. I'm just going to talk to you and let hundreds of thousands of people, whoever on the millions of interbillions nets, get to just think that I'm talking directly to you. Because that's the best part, right? The interpersonal interaction. Buddy, I decided I'm going to be honest. I'm going back to my roots. I'm going back to the, what, what got me onto YouTube to begin with, was what was being honest. Um, nothing in particular right now. It's just going to just gonna do it. I'm taking a walk. I decided uh, I'm going to take advantage of having this week off. Uh, I mean, I've got some stuff, I have to work tomorrow and play games tomorrow and I don't know what I'm doing this week. Maybe check out this museum of uh, neon art down on the Art Walk in Los Angeles. Sounds really cool. But uh, even so, I'm going to take advantage of this, just having my days free. I mean, the weather is really picked up. It must be like 78 degrees or 80 degrees. Fresh cut grass. Fresh cut grass, man, it smells so good. Mmm. This video's already gone on for two minutes. I really haven't even said anything. Oh, I was gonna say, I just had this feeling I stopped back at my house to get my iPhone and uh, went to grab the water jug in the fridge. And it wasn't where I put it. it, it wasn't in the spot where I set it. And I had this moment of freaking out like it just wasn't there, you know? And then I looked around for a second and I saw, I mean, literally like one or two seconds and I saw it was down on the bottom shelf. So I grabbed it. So I'm wondering, how often does that happen in real life? Like, you look for something, maybe something you put somewhere, something you think is gonna be there, a person, uh, anything. Uh, you say something and you expect a certain response and you don't get it right away. You don't get that, what you're expecting. And you freak out just for a moment, and of course then that moment could be stretched to, to encompass a day or 50, 50 days or 50 minutes or whatever. Hi guys. Hey, you're on TV. Say hi. Hey buddy. Cool. Be chill like your friend, man. Um, so how often does that happen? Often does that happen like, I mean for me like, with people I noticed, once I would get like super sensitive, like getting high and stuff, I noticed it a lot more. Um, that I was expecting things. And again, I just saw Lisa and Ron are working on the four agreements. And yes, the four agreements is part of what set me on this path to honesty and greatness. <laughs> so, but honesty, honesty. And don't expect, that's one, of the, that's one of the agreements, is don't expect anything. Expectation, I mean, sometimes you get what you expect but what's the great, what's the benefit of that? If you're not expecting it, you get it anyway. So, I think I expected people to react a certain way and I was like, like no, it's gonna happen. It's, it's gotta happen because I believe this. But the thing is, no, nothing has to happen. There is no certainty in life. Even mathematics is an uncertainty because it's like two is only two ones which is only 4.5s, you know? Four separate 0.5s, which is 8.25s. And it goes on and on until, you know, you have to divide odd numbers by two. And there's no like, there's no, there's no definitive ever, ever. Even in math, there's no definitive. I like. I know people like to simplify and say that grass is green, this is an orange fence, those are pointy, 
But like, it's all in how you look at it, man. An ant's not gonna think this is pointy. An ant's gonna think this is a flat surface. And you know, that's only green because my eyes are picking up a certain reverberation of frequency. So I'm gonna go back to not expecting anything. And uh, not as, oh no, no, man, I think I got it all wrong. It's don't assume anything, but it's the same thing, right? Expectation and assumption, kind of along the same vein, like uh, two wheels, two tires on a car kind of going in the same direction, maybe parallel to each other, slightly different. Don't expect anything, don't assume anything, and go about your business. Be kind, be nice. I stopped being nice for a little while. I was experimenting. I mean, a lot of it was just experimenting to see what happened if I was a mean, selfish person. And it was not good. Mean selfishness does not work. It does not work. I thought, you know what? Everyone likes a quiet loner that's like kind of a prick. Because I thought like that was the image like Johnny Depp was given off. Like, no, no, people don't like that. And I was ne that's never been me. So I'm going back to who I am, which is nice. Feels good. Uh, okay, that's a good well, one. Well, uh, no, what I'm going to do with it. I, I wonder, like, should I? I guess just have a conversation with the camera when I walk by people that are talking, and if they think it's weird, then I'll put them on camera and they can tell me all about it. Ooh, I like this tree coming up. These trees really consume a lot of warmth. Alright, I'm going to go about my walk. Well, I'm, I'm figuring out, it's like, only by going through months of inactivity have I figured out the benefit of activity. When that negative feeling starts to creep into your mind, you're trying to be positive, you're saying what you think, you're really saying good things, you can do it, you're strong. That negativity is always going to be there because when you bring positivity, negativity is drawn to that electrochemically. It's, it's the dynamic of nature. It's why it's called positive and negative. They're just two alternating charges. But when you feel that negativity, push your legs, push, push your muscle, push forward. Because what you're saying is what you want to say. What you're doing is what you want to do. If you want to be positive, you can be positive. That's the effort. It's fucking great. I'm going to the lake. This is blocks away from my house. Look at that fountain. Anyway, enough talk. See if this bird will talk to me. Hi, bird. How's things? Not quite. I kn if I had food, I'm positive he'd come hang. Maybe if I go chill up there. Birds. Birds. Ducks. Birds. Who's ever seen a bird and a duck? One floats in the water. Maybe they both float in the water. I don't know, ducks are birds, right? Mallard. This is my favorite area. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, beautiful swans? Do you swan? Dude, the bigger they are, the less skittish they are. Ducks, I wish I had some bread, oh my god. He's much closer than he looks on the video. 12 feet. I heard my brother, Max, uh, you may know Max, go back, check out a video called uh, Two Guys Talking. I think, or just two guys talking, and it's me and Max. He's in Austin, Texas right now. 
David told me that he threw his phone into the ocean, or into the Gulf, or into the lake. He threw it into Lake Austin. <laughs> He's amazing. If you think I'm extreme, you got to meet Max. I think I'm a bird person. I don't have to talk so loud. I get along with birds really well. I used to go down to the LA River and uh, at, at night a lot and sit with the birds. I haven't done that in a while. They're inquisitive. Hey guys. Have you noticed like animals are like fearless of you if you're not paying attention to them? But as soon as you put your attention on them, they're like, even other people. Like, huh? I guess one of the best things about being in the city, oh sorry, is how close the animals, how fearless like birds and stuff are. Birds and I was gonna say rats. If you see rats like in subways and stuff, I think they're well, they're probably a little more scared. But birds and squirrels. They're so used to people. Need some bread. Check this out. I'm, I'm, I'm connecting with this blackbird over there. Can you see? It's a little loud when it gets quiet. I made that noise and he made that noise. There he is. It's like sticks his tail up like that. I don't know if it's like a mating call or what. Hey. I think I just did it way too many times in a row. That little blackbird over there. Hey. Oh, they want food so bad. They just spend their days look, walking around, looking for food, and swimming in the water. I, in a way, thank God we've cor we have corporation that we don't lack for food. Because otherwise, we'd spend our days looking for food, and that would suck. Um, what's up, Puffy Neck? Hey, but you know, the good with the bad, it is nice that we don't lack for food. What do you think? Hungry? If I had bread, I'd hand it to you, my brother. Should I go buy some? I dig the momentum. Bugs? What kind of bugs? They're like ants and stuff? Or? They have beautiful eyes, my friend. Yo, dude. What up? Hello. I should attend to the video. For I wanted not to go on too long. Just want to show everyone. All right, hi. So what's up? I, I felt like he was going to attack me, so I got kind of like, hey, take it easy. Dude, he was like walking right at me. <laughs> Maybe because I'm sitting down. Oh, he probably thought I had food. Hey guys, dude, they're eating grass.
Should I go talk to the swans again? I don't want to bother them. And I don't want to make them think I have food when I don't. And maybe they're not swans. But I think if I ask the question, the answer is yes. Yes, I should. This is just fucking amazing. If only you could be here with me to experience the true closeness of these animals. Dude, they walked right up to me. Like, he kept walking right at me until I was like, hey, hey. And then they kind of, like, slowly walked away. I just thought he was going to come bite me. I don't know why. I've never been approached that, that directly by a large bird before. God, I really like this area. All they need is a, a wooden jungle gym where with, like, rope swings and stuff and rings. Maybe we could petition the city to get that. It's kind of the bird's park, though. Hey, man. Anything? Any last words? Before I take off? Next time I come, I'm bringing you some food. And we shall be fast friends. See you, man. Uh, I Do you feel hassled by me right now? All right, I'm gonna roll. casual birds are like when you walk towards them they like pretend like they don't notice you but they'll like kind of like turn and walk away real uh, ambiently or like, and you're like oh okay you knew I was coming over there don't let's not pretend here what what yeah you're obviously the smarter of the two, so what's up? Just, uh, what's on your mind? <laughs>